what's the intro to uh, Old Man by Neil Young, if you don't recognize it? Uh, great intro, great imagination on the chorus of this. Uh, this is in a period of some of my favorite Neil Young songs around 1975. But this one, uh, I'm going to break it down from the intro and then the actual singing intro. And then I go into the verse feel, show you the chorus of the verse, how that goes, and then the chorus. So the way it starts out, it's in the key of D. So you, you, t you spell out your D chord, okay? And then you move it up to the f uh, fifth fret. So you're here and you just go up one, two, three frets up there from where you are. Now you're lined up on the fifth fret. This is an F chord. Okay, you might have heard that before. Now if you open up the E string with your second finger, just open it up. You get that Mysterioso chord, which I love. I use this all the time. I used it in a few songs. Thank you, Neil. Anyway, the way it goes is uh, I'm going to show you the pattern that he does on this one. It, it hammers on on the fifth fret of the G string with the first finger, and it goes back to D. And again, two, three, D. Okay? So you see that I'm hammering onto the, the fifth fret of the G string, and I'm, I'm spilling out that, that F major seventh chord-ish, sort of, yeah. And it's a great sound. So you hammer on there, and you do it three times. So you go one, two, three, and then back to the D. So here's how it sounds. Now the, the look I'm doing on the D is I'm, I'm doing a straight up D chord and I'm hammering on the open E string, second finger, second fret. I hammer it on. You've heard that, it's kind of a James thing on James Taylor. Okay, it's just a down stroke. And then third, a pinky finger, third fret of the E string. Back to the second, open. time sounds like it kind of swings right so it's got it so so far so good then when he goes into the singing part <clears throat> On this, he uh, from my from my ears it sounds like he does, he's not always hammering, and it, and it should be said that Neil does everything different every time. So you'll notice that he moves around. There's no s distinct exact uh, execution on any of these verses and choruses. He just swings like how he feels it, which is why we love him. So there, there again, uh, once you get up to the singing part of that, you don't have to hammer on necessarily. <laughs> especially if you're a singer, you can just go. So it's not really a game of perfect on this one. It's just getting that feel going. That's the way he does it. Neil's that way anyway, though. But uh, so once you've done that intro of singing, then you go into the, I'm going to give you now the chords of the verse. So it's uh, D, and then we're going to do an F major seventh, which you'll probably appreciate because it's a little easier than a straight up F. So the notes are. So it's just like an F, partial, but open up that E string. That'll work. That's cool. And then C. 
and then G. Okay, and any G you want. Just straight up G. I do it with the pinky on this one to keep, for ergonomically, it's easier to go. So these are these are important little little tips. I think you know how you how you finger the chord is important because otherwise you you might be you know jiving around hard trying to get it. So uh, again, I'd go to the D F. That way, watch the flow here. See how easy that is? A little more difficult to... Whatever feels good to you, though. Okay, so we're good so far. We got the verse changes, and, and, and they're a little... They change according to what part of the verse you're in. So I'm going to play right through the verse. First verse goes, the first half of the verse goes. Then change a little bit, it goes D F C F. So that's C to F, right? Cool. Now you go to the second half of the verse, D. Same same setup as before. D, F, C, G. And then this part changes. It goes D, C, C to G. So check this out. F to, C, to G, not a C to G. I stand corrected. So check that out. That's the end, the last part of the verse. Then F to G. And staggers that. Bow, bow, bow. So now I'm going to play the entirety of the verse with all the changes and see if you can catch what I'm doing. So. Slow motion one more time just to make sure you got all the changes. Okay, I'll do it real slow. So D, oh man, F, look at my life, C, 24, G, so much more. D, live alone, F, C. And this is where it staggers. C, C. Okay, and again. Parts a little bit different where it goes D C F G so it goes oh, a little different here C alone and last and then we bounce from the F to the G. Okay, that's that's the verse dissected. Hopefully you got all that. So now we've done the intro. We did the, the regular intro on guitar. We sang the intro and then we did the verse with all the changes. Okay, and all the little hits and stuff. Now, again, he does it, <laughs> if you play, try to play along with Neil, he definitely moves it around. He does a lot of... I'll get to that in a minute. There's a couple little little uh, tricks I can show you, little hammer-ons. Okay, so now we're about ready to go to the chorus. So once we get to that last change in the verse where it goes... And then it goes... To, this is the chorus, okay? So it's D, A minor, seventh, E minor, and there's a bounce on the G. I'm gonna show you how that goes right now. Uh, once again, I think my, my phone just did something. Uh, then here's the chorus once again. So it goes. So how 
how does that sound with the vocal so let's, it does a, it does one with uh, one for nothing I call it where before they sing it goes do the hammer on or not hammer on yeah it kind of is The setup for the chorus, okay? It doesn't doesn't sing the first part. It goes an A minor seventh, E minor, and here's where it does a little bounce on G. sense to you when I sing the chorus. is uh, after the second chorus I believe it is you'll have to listen to it it bounces back to the it takes it out on the uh, little F change again it sounds something like this uh, I'm gonna do a chorus into the little F deal that we showed you a little bit too ago. so okay sounds like this seen him played a couple of times oh man what a, what a voice huh and a little little bit of trivia linda ronstadt and james taylor sing backups on that i think it was one of his big, first big radio hits and james taylor plays banjo is that banjo you hear on the it's like <laughs> that's james taylor i just found that out yesterday messing around on on the Google and uh so that's cool but what a what a great combo Linda Rostat, James Taylor, Neil Young can't beat it. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you down the road. Mm -hmm.